Hello everyone, welcome to DreadTech Australia and New Zealand. My name is Jordan De Cesare, and today in this tutorial I will show you how to configure the DreadTech Vigor 2860 to connect to the NBN VDSL2 network. First off, check that the router has the latest firmware installed that supports VDSL2 vectoring. The latest firmware can be downloaded from the website www.dreytech.com.au. It will be under the Support Downloads page. Select the Vector2 version. Once the firmware is installed in the router, go to WAN General Setup Configuration menu. Select WAN 1. Check that WAN 1 is enabled. For DSL mode, select VDSL2 only. Now, for the DSL modem code, select Annex A underscore 574307 underscore 571801. Some internet service providers may require a VLAN tag as shown in the table here. If a VLAN tag is required, enter it in the VLAN tag insertion VDSL2 section as shown here. For example, TPG requires a VLAN tag of 2, so we enter it here. Once you've entered all the required details, click OK to save. almost there. Now go to Internet Access and choose the access mode required by your ISP. For example, TPG requires PPPoE authentication, so we choose PPPoE slash PPPoA for the access mode. The other access mode is MPOA slash static or dynamic. We'll go over this option a little later in the video after covering the PPPoE configuration. After selecting the PPPoE slash PPPoA access mode, click on Details page. Select Enable and enter in the username and password provided by the internet service provider. Then click OK to save. Some service providers such as these only require DHCP to be enabled and may also require a DHCP client identifier. For this configuration, select MPOA slash static or dynamic for the access mode. Now click on details page, select enable, select obtain an IP address automatically, then if required, Select the DHCP Client Identifier option and enter the username and password provided from the Internet Service Provider. We can now check that the Internet connection is up and running. Go to Online Status then the physical connection page in the router. It should look similar to this, showing that WAN 1 is up and you should see VDSL 2 state as Showtime Vectoring Active. For more information, go to our website www.draytech.com.au or send an email to sales at draytech.com.au. Thank you for watching.